The latest now in the case of 30 year old David Kinney charged with murder and aggravated murder in the shooting death of Brad McGarry in Bel Air on May 7th. McGarry was found face down dead from two gunshot wounds and with no gun in sight. It's our top story tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce and I'm Jennifer Black. Tonight we are learning new details in the case. According to Kinney's extended family, some of whom took the stand during a lengthy pretrial. News 9's Kate Davison has more. Well, it's often said there's two sides to every story. Today, the judge said there appears to be two sides to this defendant. While witnesses portrayed a loving husband and stepfather. Uh, I've always been proud that he's been my son-in-law. I've never had to worry about her or the children. I, I couldn't ask for a better son-in-law. My son's the kind of person that you see him, you automatically want to be his friend. <laughs> he's just a good-hearted guy. Judge Frank Frigiano saw a different picture of 30 year old David Kinney. Uh, the purpose of the witnesses today, the five witnesses live and then the one witness on, on the tape, was to show that this particular defendant was so dependable, reliable, honest, basically what a good guy he is. The testimony that came through, quite frankly, was the exact opposite. Kenny's wife, Sherry, also took the stand on behalf of her husband. Because that's how marriage goes. You go through rough times and you stick beside each other. Today, we learned Kenny made a second trip to the alleged crime scene with his wife and young daughter in tow. This way, Mr. Kenny was putting on a ruse. No. But you just I, said earlier he never acted concerned or he never acted like anything was bothering all right. But we now know that while he takes you and your daughter to this house, he knows that Brad McGarry is dead in that house. Correct. And yet he brought you and your daughter into that residence. Yes. Now, as of right now, Kinney's trial is slated for July 18th. Reporting in Belmont County, I'm Kate Davison, News 9 at 6.